Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. So today I have for you this ginormous box of Squishmallows to open with you guys. Now this was a giant, giant order. So I had to split it in two and I did that mostly because they were two separate drops at five below. So if you haven't seen the first part of this video, I'll definitely link it in the description below and I suggest you go check it out because that one was so much fun. But if you wanna see the rest of them that came in this giant order, let's go ahead and get started. So I don't really know how to describe this collection. I would probably say friends slash food collection drop. I'll definitely throw up the picture of what drop it was and around what date they came from. But these are more recent than a lot of the things I've been hauling. But I'm super excited to finally get these open, hauled, shown. That way I can go ahead and display them with the rest of my food collection. So we'll go ahead and just start the haul. I think we'll go ahead and start with the friends collection and then we'll jump into the rest of them. The first one that I have is this adorable little pig right here very cute this one reads friends and i believe this one's name is rosie i could be wrong but i got her because i have a few other pigs but i got her partner as well which you'll see in just a moment but i absolutely love her i think she's adorable she's well stuffed but quite small then i have her partner in crime which says forever so obviously i thought just getting him that said forever would be a little weird i wanted him regardless because i wanted him for my cow collection but they'll sit together that way it reads friends forever but this one's really cute i believe this one's name is ron I really really like this one very soft but I will say this one is not stuffed at all there's barely any stuffing in it very floopy I don't know not as good a quality as Rosie but definitely love him nonetheless and I think he'll fit in perfect with my cow collection then I have only two more from the friends collection but they fit in perfect to the food collection as well so the first one I have is this cute little burger this one says best very cute the patty the cheese tomato lettuce the little seeds on his bun and I love this that they continue the pattern to the back because a lot of them the patterns just on the front and then nothing on the back so very cute absolutely love this one so i have his little friend here this cute little french fry and his one says friend so that one says best this one says friends so together best friends very very cute this one's stuffed very well also quite small though absolutely love this yellow red combination very very cute and i am just in love i had been wanting to get the original versions of the burger and fries but i can't manage to find them anywhere and the makari prices are just through the roof for me so i thought if these were the only ones i were to ever have of them i don't mind the wording on either so i absolutely love them this one like i said is stuffed really well and the burger was stuffed just as well they are just a little small but very very cute so now we'll just jump right into the food collection the first one i have is this adorable little pineapple very very cute she is also not stuffed at all very very soft but not well in the thickness area cute little pineapple crown up here with her little flower the only thing I did not realize when I bought her online is that she has a fuzzy tummy. If I knew that, I probably would not have gotten her because I just don't like that. But she is very, very cute nonetheless. I am reading this tag for the first time and it says first to market. I don't know what that means. Let me look at the inside. I don't know what that means, but right there it says first to market. Interesting. I don't know if it's like one of those select series, but I've never noticed that before. But yeah, just not a fan of the fuzzy belly. Then I have this cute little pop popcorn i have another version of this one that i got from walgreens during the summer he has this weird sherpa feeling stuff up here for his popcorn but a little classic popcorn bucket bottom this one is also sadly not filled at all the stuffing honestly is right there not at all filled at all so he's a little like floopy like he just doesn't stand up right the sherpa feels so weird it's just not a material for me but he is unbelievably soft i'm not even gonna lie about that he's so soft like i said just not very full but this one is a very nice height probably not my favorite but he's perfect for my food collection then i kind of debated about this one but she couldn't have been the only one that i didn't get from the collection but i have this cute little macaroon here very pretty i love the tie-dye pink and blue she has this cute little drizzle on the top but it's shaped weirdly like she has a cone head instead of like flat i don't know i just don't know if i like this one but i had to have her for my food collection i love this little fuzzy right here it's kind of really soft she's also not stuffed very well probably right there and not as floopy as the other because the bottom is 
thick. Really nice, really soft. Again, I don't know if I like her, but I couldn't not have her. She's just a unique piece to my food collection since it's typically just like jars of stuff or a piece of fruit or something. So this one is different and I knew I needed to get her. Then we have this adorable little donut. At first I thought it was a Pop-Tart, but I've been told it's a donut. I'm still debating what I think she is. Even if she's supposed to be a donut, to me, she looks like a Pop-Tart. Very cute. Also not very stuffed. This one is a little bit taller, but the stuffing is not very good. She's cute nonetheless. I, I love this chocolate frosting, the sprinkles, the pink drizzle. Very, very cute. Regardless, I knew I had to have her in my collection. So I don't know. Pop-Tart, donut, what do you think? I don't know. I don't care. I love her. Now we only have three more. I'm super excited. Looking at these all over again is just making me so incredibly happy. You have no idea. But next we have this adorable guacamole, guacamole, however you say it. It's little tortilla chip. It's your little dip that you get at a restaurant. You make at home. My mom makes this all the time. We have it for every dinner when we eat our Mexican food. So very cute. I knew I had to have this one. And the crazy thing is, is I was on Facebook and someone posted they bought it at Walgreens, but it was the 14 inch one. And I definitely didn't want that. Then I saw it on Amazon and that one was a 10 inch one. And then I turned to Macari because I know Kroger and Kroger affiliates had this one, the macaroon, the donut, the milk, the popcorn, and they had a peanut butter, which I'll insert a picture because I'm looking for that eight inch peanut butter. It's the only one that Five Below didn't get that Kroger got and I'm on the hunt, but it's going for like $25, $30 on Macari. And I just don't know if I could do that. So if you have this one right here in the corner and you're willing to sell it for a reasonable price, because I know they retailed for about eight to $9.99, definitely let me know in the comments below and we will work something out. But again, here's a cute little guacamole bowl. Very cute with his cute little chip. Absolutely adorable. Love the bowl. Love that the sauce is up here. This one's actually the only one that's pretty well thick, pretty tall, pretty good proportions. I absolutely love this one. I'm so glad I was able to get it because again, I was going to turn to Macari to get this, but five below pulled through at least this time. The next one that I have, I also debated about this one. When I saw it online, I was like, I want it. It's so cute. It's so different. I need it. Then I got her in person and I was like, do I want her? Do I like her? Do I need her? And now I'm back to yes. I absolutely need this one. This one's so cute. It's supposed to be like a bowl of cereal. So she's this really nice white bowl with these little stripes. She's got her little spoon and her little fruit loop ish type cereal there in the bowl. Now, when I think about it, she doesn't look too bowl like it starts to become like a cup. And I'm like, I don't know. Does she look like a bowl of cereal? Either way, super different. I love cereal. I mostly eat it dry. I don't eat a lot of it, but I have it now and then. So I knew I wanted her in my collection. I think she's adorable. I love that they did the pattern, but then had these two singular pop out ones. It gives it that dimension. And I do really like that. I also like her little like rosy cheeks. So cute. I'm having a love hate relationship with her, but either way, I'm super glad I got her because I didn't want to not get her then want her and then have to turn to Macari to buy her for like $20 more. But again, this one's not stuffed at all. Maybe that much, but this one has a nice height, which I prefer, but she could use a little bit more stuffing. She's not that floopy because her base is pretty thick, but nonetheless, I do like her and I'm enjoying her in my collection. So now, now on to our very last one for the video. I am super excited. I feel like I've been talking for a really long time and I don't even know if I'm doing my typical haul where I describe them, talk about the quality and all that. So I do apologize if none of that has come through at all, but this collection has me super excited. I'm just excited to get them out of the box displayed so I can look at them every day and just have my heart filled. But for the very last one that we have for this video is this super adorable strawberry milk. She is so cute. Absolutely love it. So, so so cute. I love this little straw. I know that I hate the color pink, but since she's strawberry milk and the pink's not too in your face, it's a nice pastel-y pink. I think she is perfect. I also really like her because strawberry milk is my boyfriend's favorite. So I just like when the collection fits us both. He really liked this one as well. And she is one that I had to have right away. One of my favorite things is she does have this cute little cow print on the bottom. And I like that it's just on the bottom and not the full thing. Very, very cute. I absolutely love her. She's one that I saw that Kroger had over the summer that I was just saying had the popcorn, the donut, the peanut butter, the macaroon, the avocado, that kind of stuff. And I was really, really trying to find her on Macari. But again, just like the peanut butter, she was coming in at 25 to 35, which they retailed at 9.99 ish at Kroger. So yes, it's a little bit smaller and probably not that well fluffed compared to the original, but I'm so glad I was able to pick it up at five below for an incredible 
price. All right, guys, so that's absolutely everyone we have for today's video. Like I said, when I was talking about her, I don't know if this video was all over the place, but towards the end, it definitely felt like it. I filmed quite a few things today, so I think I was just losing my mind. Plus, it's the day after Thanksgiving, so I'm really tired and kind of just hungry right now. But like I said, that's absolutely everything we're hauling for today's video. In the comments below, let me know which one was your favorite and why. Like I said, if you have that peanut butter one up for sale for a reasonable price, definitely let me know in the comments as well or send me a message. My business email is always linked below. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that that you don't want public, definitely just send me something over there. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel. Make sure to subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell. That way you can be notified for the very next Squishmallow unboxing that goes up on the channel. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and we will definitely see you in the next one. Bye friends.